Hello everybody, my name is Brahim and welcome back to the White Elephant Achievement Run in EO4. So, we have taken some land from Khmer, we have humiliated them, we are making over 50 power projection, which is always good. Uh, we have to, yeah, be very, very cautious about these rebels, because I am not paying full maintenance to my troops. And also something I have noticed in another another series I'm making. Uh, I am also making the Baltic Crusader series. I am recording that offline, so feel free to check my YouTube channel for that. Um, is that now, if rebel spawns in a in a province without a fort, do only take one tick to siege it. So. You have to be very careful when you're courting a province or when you're converting something because you might lose that in just one month. Because other games, like previous games, when I... Okay, let me fabricate... How about we fabricate on Champa? No, let's go fabricate on Champa Sack. Because, um, yeah, before this expansion, when some rebels popped up, I was like, okay, they're at minus 40% in the siege, so I still have time to gather my army, raise the morale. Um, I could lose legitimacy. Oh, I am at 96. I don't want to lose admin points. And so I said, okay, I have time. I have spare time. I will roll your match. But now you don't have time, so you have to be very careful when the rebel spawns. Uh, if you don't want to get that bad modifier from nationalism, or even if they are religious, they can convert you, your entire country really fast. So, yeah, you have to be very careful with that when you play. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's only at 20%. So I think I think we can control that. Let's go speed for a little bit. While we finish this course, while we regain our manpower. Provision and rest, 16, 16 and 10. Uh, let's get our ruler out so we, he doesn't die. Can I build anything? No, a fort only costs 230. And I don't have that much. Um, let me see. My ships, they're coming. Oh, 77, 80%. They will be coming soon. <clears throat> all right, all right. So the problem is, yeah, I am Tinis. It's going to take a long time to take up. Should I do a focus? Well, one one other change is your government rank. You can see right here that we are a kingdom. There are three ranks. There's the duchy, there's a kingdom, and there's an empire. Uh, I don't know the other benefits. I have to, to read about them, but one of the benefits is the reduction on how often you can change your national focus. Because the base, the standard is 25 years, you can change it every 25 years. If you're a kingdom, you can change it every 20. And if you're an empire, you can change it every 15 years. So it's a five-year reduction for every higher rank than Dachi. Now, what other benefits do you have? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what other benefits do you have? Oh, we're already at 50%. And, okay, we have, we have some ships. Protect Siam. 29. We have making 2.02 .02, it goes into 
That's not a big change. We can fabricate on Champa. Oh, I have. Oh, Jim. Yeah, I never. I never embark on my rivals. Well, I can do that now. Oh, they don't have Hindu zealots. See? See how fast they did convert it? And look, the religion changes to Hindu. So it's very, you have to be very careful with that. Uh, should we fabricate on Champa? And keep fabricating on Pegu? We can do that and maybe fully annex Pegu. They are Theravada. Theravada, so. Yeah, I might I might just fully annex Pegu. Um see see here. Just one tick, it will change from Theravada into Hidu really fast. So. Yeah, some of this will be really tough. There you go, Hidu. And I think first conversion. No. Well, when you convert a province, I think you get like the religious seal modifier in that province. Uh, so it can be converted again. I don't know if it is for every religion, but especially in Central Europe, when the Protestant and Reform comes. Uh, it happened to me lots of time that uh, you convert a province and now the center of reformation converts it back and you you spend a lot of time reconverting your provinces. So now when you convert a province to your religion, you get the religious seal. It can't be converted with a center of reformation. So you can stick with your religion for longer. <clears throat> Target practice. Oh, shoot. Peasants and separatists in Chiang Tang. What is Chiang Tang over here? Let's go over there. Let's raise that. Pegu is no longer a valid rival. Come on. Who is a valid rival? Pasai. Okay, I'm gonna stick with Pasai. We have now costly embargo. Oh, finally. Revoke the embargo. Pasai. Issue an embargo. Oh, we are now accepted Khmer. Thank you. That is really important. Let's put the, this guy in charge. Oh, I can convert 144. Oh, that is costly. All right. There they go. Let's go and take care of them. Come on, come on, see? So they took that province. I don't know what was the, the modifier, if there was any. Okay, so we have finished all the... <clears throat> Everything is core now. Good. Can we convert here? 33 months. We can convert that. Um, all right, let me see. Point four thirty-seven. No, we can easily do that. <clears throat> I hope they don't go into my territory, these guys, because I don't want Hindu in my land. Um, can we fabricate on you? On anything? No. Let's fabricate on Champa. Oh, also, yeah, we're close to annexation from Ayutthaya. So from Sukhothai, I mean. 
mm, we're lo losing a little bit of money. Cambodian separatists. Yeah, that's a lot of them. Oh, you're actually getting Cambodian separatist and not animist? All right, let's put my army in here, maybe. Split it and send half there, half here. Um, yeah, I'm really afraid of those trend Hindu because if they get into my land, they will convert to everything. They're going to for Krati. Uh, yeah, I know like you need three times. So yeah, they're going down. I think if they lose one more, that's more than fifty percent. They will collapse. I think. Ticket decision. Okay. Um. Boom. Okay. Now, let's annex. Sukhothai, 280 diplo points. So now it's based on your development level. It's 10 points, 10 diplo points for each development level. So it's 13 plus 15, 28 is 280. It's no longer based on the base tax like it used to be. So Annex Vassal, Sukhothai. <coughs> Let's annex them. How long is it going to take? 1457, three years. All right, three years of annexation. Uh, oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I. I miss that. I'm gonna lose my troops. I'm gonna lose my troops. Oh God, no. Yeah, I missed that. And okay, Khmer has collapsed. I'm gonna get some separatists for 10 more years. God damn it. Okay, okay. Now, regroup here. At least I didn't get wiped. But <clears throat> go over here. He said two, three, and two. We have a two, four, and three. It's going for Battenburg. It's on the 25th of June. I can get on July 3rd. Yeah, we'll fight them. Where are they going? They're going for Udong. I need I need to go. Yeah, I don't want separatists here. Come on, reinforce me. Good. Now send half there, half there. And you know what? Decrease your autonomy. All right. <clears throat> um, so we are annexing Sukhothai. Angkor has come under my occupation. Good. Good. These two. Oh. Oh, actually, I didn't lose the, the progress. That is good to know. That is very good to know. I'm going to lose 10 prestige, probably. Yep. I don't want to lose Almin points. Oh, I can take up. Military tag. Good. 
good. Am I ahead of time? Two, two, level two, level three for Lana, level two for Pegu. Um, <clears throat> so, Langshan, Christy Pegu, okay. Who are your allies? Arakan, Langshan, and Ava. I can get three more. I'm not going to get those troops because I will inherit them from Sukhothai. We are at 30%. Um, I have a free diplomat. How about we fabricate on what? Where's my truce time? 10 years? We have everything fabricated here. Let's fabricate over in Khmer. Why not? Mm. Thirty four. Are we recovering? We are recovering. Rebel factions under control. Yeah, this is this is under control. So let me see now. Khmer is twenty four Malayan. So is this Malayan Central Thai Malayan Malayan? The thing is, it's going to be hard to annex this guy. This, they are not my same religion. They are. What's this? Lose karma and gain 10 ducats or gain karma and local unrest. Give me 10 ducats. Lose karma. I am at, oh, 45. Oops. I should have gained karma. <laughs> it's okay. So we have no effects, we have to gain 20 karma, somehow. Malaka has announced us as rivals. Okay. Um, let me see, karma, do you gain karma by converting? No. No, it's only a well, military thing, it looks like like wage wars, uh, honor alliances, things like that. I'd probably be stuck with reduced karma for a long time because I will be waging lots of wars, I think. Um, hey, do you have any, any claim or anything, Ligor? No. Because now you have you can interact with your subjects like for example Sukutai. Hey, give me more money, you will no longer be called to wars. Sure. Same with you. Or you can embargo my rivals and get some level to desire. Um, I can do that. No, I don't. No, no, thank you. No. You have 22 level to desire. No. Um, so yeah, you can interact with them. Enforce religion. Must be in the same religious group. Really? Oh, see, I, I thought I couldn't enforce them. Okay, so that's something you. Okay, have a conquer CB against these guys. Let's fabricate on the other one. Uh, 
uh, gain karma. So, loss of Ayutthaya, gain 10 karma. As our ruler has not been fair to his subjects, this collection of law reflects badly and will decrease our prestige. Okay. Um, we are about to convert this province. That's good. <clears throat> that is good. Give me, give me conversion. There it is. Now I can convert the other one for 144. So now I can decrease the autonomy. Okay, I'm going to make a quick break, so feel free to subscribe to the channel and also like the videos. And if you're in the Twitch, you can also, also give it a follow to the channel. So I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye.